What's up beauties and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Manders and this is my channel. And today we are doing something cool. We are doing a first impressions of this palette. This is the Dope 2 palette by C Color. Um, I picked this up at Winners. I know I am on a low buy, so this was very affordable for me. So if you are interested to see what I think of this palette, um, stick around. All right, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in, I think we're gonna do a nice neutral look. Um, we're gonna take this shade right here. I've already dipped my brush into it. I'm gonna do it a little bit more. It's a nice sand color. It's gonna make a nice transition shade. So we're just gonna go in and we're just gonna lay that color down. I have already primed my eyes using my Maybelline concealer. This is my still brush from Walmart. I love this brush. It is so easy to use. And holy smokes, is the pigment ever kind of there. Wow. As a first impression, this is so much better than I really thought it would be. Now what like, um, I'm doing a neutral look because sometimes when you get into some crazy colors like this for a first impression, it might take a wrong turn. So in the nature of I want this to turn out well, and I want to sort of see how these shadows are performing, um, going into this shade right beside that one. So yeah, I'm just going to do, we're going to do a nice neutral look with this palette today and we are going to see what my thoughts are on it. Deepening that with a little bit of that cooler tone shade. Um, so now I am going to go in with this dark, this darker brown shade right here and I'm going to focus that on the outer corner and I'm just going to pat it on. All right, so this this one doesn't have the pigment that I was kind of expecting. I expected a little bit more from this shade. So other than that the pigment is just, it's not building the color that, the way that I wanted it to for this shadow, it's really not hard to work with this palette at all right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go in with this really deep chocolate brown shade right here. And we're gonna go in with that and see if we can kinda, maybe a little bit more pigment on the outer corner. I just wanna deepen it up a little. All right, so that's a little bit better. And I'm gonna go in the other side and I'm just gonna lay down that color. So this is not as necessarily pigmented as I thought the darker shades would be. However, the initial transition shades that I put on are freaking really nice. I'm really liking them so far. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take a flat brush a stained flat brush. This is from uh, Lexi. It's not actually yellow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to this nice golden shade right here and I'm going to just focus. Oh, that is crumbly. Did you see that? Not a good thing. Not a good thing to happen. So we're just going to take that and see what happens. Wow. All right. That is totally pressed glitter. It's not so satiny as I thought. Um, that's okay though, it's really chunky. Let's see if we can make this workable. Wow. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, do you see, like this part, this is what's not making me happy. Like that is just not pressed right at all. Um, okay, I'm gonna clean that up a little. Like, but the pigment's so strong, like it's under my eyes now because I'll fix that up in a second. I'm just gonna take a clean brush though and see if I can kind of like pat that out. The matte shades worked really well. This one, what the frig? What the heck's happening, man? All right, now, 
see if I can fix it. I'm going to go back in with this shade right here and I'm going to just deepen up that crease. I'm going to see if I can tidy some of this up. A little bit better. All right, so I am going to do the rest of my makeup off camera and I will see you in a second. The colors I used today are, none of these have names. And we're back so let's talk about this so you saw that putting these shadows on my eyes were really not tricky at all I'm back I am full face and we are ready to go so let's talk about these shadows now as you can see these are the ones I used um, this one is the one I dislike the most so the shimmer shade it is crumbly it's like there's a dent in it already can you see that I used it twice like it's just like it's kind of chunky it's not the greatest it's just so from what I understand, this is supposed to be like a dupe palette for something. I don't even know what it's for. Now, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about this palette. I think that these matte shades are easy to use. They do require a little bit more buildup. Um, they're not as pigmented as I would hope for. However, this was a pretty cheap palette. So, but with that being said, I could go to ColourPop and I could get like a palette from ColourPop that's very cheap um, that I know will work pretty well. And the same goes for like companies like BH Cosmetics. So let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see a video where I use these six colors as well? Or do you think that this is enough for a first impression? First impressions, um... I really don't know how I feel about this. It was easy to use, except for that crumbly one, which I'm not a fan of. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure you're subscribed if you like this type of video and give me a thumbs up if you want to. I will see you in my next video, guys, and I love hanging out with you.